Lisa Wennekes and I'm here with Ruben Degendorf. We're here at the International Kinesiology Conference in Banff, Canada. And we're here for you. you. Hello everyone out there. And we are way into the conference here in Banff and um, we're here with Matthew C today. Uh, Matthew gave an amazing introduction speech the, whole, uh, the first day and um, we are very happy to have him here with us, finally, after trying to get him for three days in a row. <laughs> he was always escaping. I don't know what was happening. Um, anyways, now he's here and um, he is here for our questions. So uh, let's start. Yeah. Let's not waste time. <laughs> I'd just like to ask you, where do you see kinesiology? What, what's next? So what is the next step with kinesiology? I don't know, but I have some ideas. So, uh, in some places in the world, it, kinesiology is just starting, but we have the examples of, of many places with the long history, so we can spread kinesiology faster or get better benefit or, or share it in a better way based on examples from other places. So, I, as I said in my opening speech, one thing I'm very happy about is the fact in the professional association in Germany, the DGAK, they're really respecting both tracks, the accompanying model track for lay people or for practitioners who don't need to be medical doctors. But they're also preserving a track and a strong track for people who are in the medical profession and they can use kinesiology in all of those professions also. So I think that's very important going forward to preserve that and in new places to let people know that's a good idea. This can be a good tool for professionals. They but we need to preserve, it's available for lay people, and also there can be a new kind of profession that's not a medical profession, but an accompanying profession. 